Hi everyone, and thank you for being here today. So my name is Max, and I'm excited to talk about how data science and AI are transforming the music industry. So I spent over 10 years working in data science across telecom, fintech, and uh, consulting. I also had the opportunity to lead research and analysis at Warren Music Group. And now I'm data science lead at Metis. So the music industry is evolving rapidly, and uh, AI is playing a crucial role in that transformation. So today we'll explore how cloud-native AI is driving innovation in entertainment and uh, music production. So now that you know a bit more about me, uh, let me walk you through what we'll cover today. So before we dive into the details, here a quick overview of what we will cover today. So what is the problem? We'll start by discussing the key challenges uh, the music industry faces today. So we'll talk about data and understand what the source we have and how they shape decision-making. Introduction to AI in the music industry. At the high level, we look at how AI is used in various aspects of the business. And we'll make two stops on two case studies. So the first one, it's uplift modeling. So how AI helps optimize marketing campaigns by identifying high value audiences. And the second one, it's AI driven planning and marketing optimization. So we're using AI to predict demand and uh, optimize uh, a budget. And we'll talk about uh, the impact of AI on the music industry from perspective of uh, cloud native. So before we get into, let's first break down what the music business actually looks like. So the industry operates across five key pillars. So the first one, it's a and artist and repertoire. So these departments are responsible for discovery of new talent, finding the next big star. The second one, it's the recording and the production, turning raw talent into high quality music. The next one, it's artist promotion marketing. So the guys who are responsible for making people more knowledgeable and actually hear the music. The next one, when we already promote our artists, our stars, so we need to think about how to release uh, tracks and distribute that. So getting music onto streaming platforms and other channels. And of course, the last one, and but not least, so it's a step of monetization and royalties. So we need to ensure that artists and labels as a uh, music group, as ourselves, we get paid for the so each of these areas uh, generates massive amounts of data, and this is where AI can play a huge role in making uh, processes more efficient and uh, data-driven. But of course, this business is not uh, without challenges. So let's talk about uh, one of the biggest ones. We understand that AI in our days uh, is everywhere, but we have to do something but sometimes we don't know and labels and artists know that AA could be potential but the biggest challenge that we faced we don't know the artists don't know and the labels as well where and how to use it more efficient so it's not just about adopting AA it's about making it work for real business problems and if that was not challenging enough there is another big hurdle so too much data. So let's talk about it. So AI is everywhere, but there is one problem more. It's data is everywhere in Warm Music Group. So we have over 2.5 trillion streaming data points, 15,000 parameters tracked for analysis, hundreds of tables about the artists, about the track, about the album, about the audiences. 180 companies provide different details, different data, and share this data with the Music Group. So 10 billion transactions process daily and growing every day. So the problem is not having data. The problem is making sense of it. And that's where AI comes in, but we need to know how to use that. So where does all this data actually come from? So the first main source, it's a DSP, it's a digital streaming platform, such as Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon, and YouTube. So they provide insights into user behavior, play counts, skips, and playlist additions. So of course, the most one of the most popular source of data, it's a chart metric. So chart metric is a tool that tracks fun engagement across different platforms. Um, the technical and from 
technician sites. We could talk about Librosa. So it's a non-obvious, but anyway, it's a one more source of data. Librosa, it's a Python library for analyzing audio features. So it provides extraction, useful information like tempo, pitch, and mood from tracks. And also we use Sadaton. Sadaton is a data platform which we use to identify rising stars. It combines streaming, social, and radio data to predict breakthrough artists. So now we actually understand the data landscape. So let's see how AI helps solve real business problems. So AI is solving two key types of problems in the music industry. It's two different layers. The first one, it's operations and strategy. The second one. The operations uh, are responsible for optimizing marketing and engagement. Uh, it's a problem such as segmentation, A-B testing, common channel marketing. If we talk about strategy, it's a separate division which driving business decisions such as stream forecasting, drum prediction, LTV modeling, and uplift modeling. So each streaming service, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, YouTube, keeps its own data. And the main, one of the main problems we faced, we can't track a listener across platforms, which uh, limits how well we understand individual uh, behavior. So that's why uplift modeling and stream forecasting are one of our key focus areas. So it helps us uh, measure and real campaign despite these limitations. So let's look at how AI supports the listener journey. So AI supports every step of the listener journey, started from acquisition. So acquisition, it's a step which led us to understand who are the new listeners. It's more about behavior monitoring, onboarding ideas and onboarding strategies. So the second one, it's a development. The development part, it's about how do we keep them engaged. It's a problem which we are going to address, such as uh, next best offer or cross-sell or upsell model. The third one, it's a retention. So when we already have the user is using our service, we need to think about who's at risk of living and responsible for churn and figure about LTV prediction. And the last one, it's a reactivation. How do we bring them back? For example, if we found that the user had a high churn probability and it's a problem like a reactivation modeling or incentives. So to tackle these challenges, we focus on two key AI applications, uplift modeling for smarter marketing and sales forecasting to predict demand, because these two main problems could cover the main part of our business. So let's see how uplift modeling helps optimize marketing spend. So basically, uplift modeling help us measure the real impact of advertising and the optimized budget allocation. So we analyze two groups, the user who saw an ad and those who did not. So two AI models predict engagement for each group. And uplift is the difference between these predictions. It tells us where ads actually drive more listens or clicks instead of spending on user who would engage anyway. We focus on those where ads make a real difference. So maximizing impact and uh, reducing wasted spend. Actually, what happens when we apply uplift modeling in real campaigns? So AI-driven segmentation was used to launch ads on TikTok and Spotify. So the results showed a 30% reduction in the cost of adding a track to a user library compared to traditional segmentation. So this proves that AI, especially uplift modeling, could help us optimize ad spend by targeting the right listeners and improve the efficiency and reducing costs. That's actually our main purposes. So now let's take a look at another key AI use case. In our agenda, it must be and it will be stream forecasting. So stream forecasting, it's about sales forecasting, actually. So we need to predict how many times a song will be streamed as a critical for planning because it's critical for planning and marketing. We built a three months forecasting model using historical streaming trends, track metadata and uh, Librosa, which we already mentioned today. And additionally, we used around 700 features in uh, total. So the result forecasting accuracy improved by 60%, helping labels allocate budgets more effectively. 
because it's becoming more crucial and more important for Warner because Warner consists of different independent label such as Atlantic as well. So now let's see how this forecasting translates into smarter marketing investments. So forecasting does not just help predict streams, it's also optimized marketing spend because when we build model, we need to understand, we need to not only implement our solution, we need to interpret the decision, interpret the model. And for that, to answer on that question, we build partial dependence plot and partial dependence plot provide us key insights. So more budget does not always mean more streams because after building partial dependence, we found that oftentimes we faced with a plateau effect and plateau effect shows where additional spending stop being effective. So by reallocating budgets based on these insights, so we saved 27% of marketing costs without losing performance. And we've built based on that model, real cloud native AI platform that integrates forecasting seamlessly into business process. So the first step of our implementation, it's a front end runs on Streamlit, which making predictions and provide for our business units and business users more easy to access mathematical model. At the next step, a fast API backend connects the user interface with our ML model and handling requests efficiently. So a user type specific scenario in Streamlit. So Streamlit send this request to fast API, fast API launch ML model, ML model score and predict all uh, forecasts, send these forecasts in fast API back and the model process input features and return stream forecasts in real time and show the real forecasts in a stream lead. So this architecture allows uh, for fast scalable AI driven decision making and bringing real value to the music industry. And at the end of the day, it all comes down to one thing. So music has to win. AI is not here to replace uh, creativity, but to amplify it, helping artists and businesses make smarter and data-driven uh, decisions. And our purpose and our main objective is build cloud native AI solution that optimize marketing, predict trends and maximize impact. And we did it, but the real goal of course, it's a connecting music with the right uh, audience in the most effective way. So thanks for your time and feel free to scan a QR code to connect. And I'm happy to take any questions.